Every great hockey team needs that one person that can score a whole bunch of goals. For the 1967 Clinton Comets, it was Borden Smith. We sat down with him in another edition of Grassroots Through Utica, presented by the Indium Corporation. Well, when I hear Clinton Comets, the first thing I think of is su success, of course, hockey, uh, which was definitely something that I experienced uh, during the eight years that I was here. Uh, the fan support, uh, probably nothing but uh, positives as far as the uh, way we were treated and all the rest of it. Uh, so it, it brings back a lot of uh, good memories, of course, from the cups and everything else that were involved with the organization. I feel like most people who play any sport don't get to experience the dominance that you guys had. What, what was that like? I mean, what was it like to just feel like you were unstoppable at that point? Well, you know, one of the advantages that we did have here is we had a very good man behind the scenes by the name of Ren Blair who uh, brought in players here and was always able to bring in good players here. And we had a very, very few, we had very, very few uh, turnovers as far as players were concerned. So, uh, I mean, the, the organization was very, very uh, good at uh, getting established and talented players to play here. You talk about, you, you played in this building a few times, a handful of times every year, but now you look around and in the rafters, you got your picture and, and all your buddies and, and your teammates, and of course the statue out front. What's that like now to, to come into this building and know that your name and your faces are everywhere? Well, you know, for, for a number of years after I was done playing, and of course some, all the other players were done playing, uh, we, we were kind of dormant for quite a while, I would say. Uh, some of us got into coaching hockey and kids and so on. But with the uh, uh, involvement here now with the Utica Comets, our careers were kind of resurrected, so to speak. So, uh, and it's surprisingly, when we come to these games now, there's a, there's a lot of people that recognize us and speak to us and so on. And uh, we, can, we can only thank the uh, Common Organization and Rob Esch, of course, for, for bringing us to the forefront of this uh, situation where we are now. But uh, it, it kind of makes you feel proud to see something like this happening and to look up there and see your, your sweater. And of course, the statue out in front of us four players was the, was the ultimate thing that any hockey player could ever want. So. Uh, it's, it's certainly a great feeling to come into the building. So last thing for you, for fans watching, I'm sure there's a lot of kids out there watching Comets Hockey right now. What's your advice as far as how to go about getting somewhere like where you went and playing professional hockey, whether it's a hockey advice or even just how to, how to be a part of that journey from a very young age? Uh, you have to realize that in today's sport, compared to other years, you don't last that long in, in the sport playing professionally. So make sure that you take every opportunity that you have to get a good education while you're playing. And if you can get that paid for on a scholarship or everything else, that's the way to go. I just want to thank the, the organization very much for having uh, myself, uh, Pierre Prevo, Jack Kane, uh, Dave Armstrong as uh, ambassadors for the Utica Comets, which we've been. and. Uh, the uh, privilege is, is uh, certainly something special for us and we enjoy doing this.